Hi everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Elite Dangerous Standard Beta 3. We are on Standard Beta Build 3.03, .03, and I have some pretty cool stuff to show you right now. Um, the very first thing I did um, was get rid of that, I jettisoned that scrap um, cargo that I had from that previous mission that I failed because I couldn't go very far. Um, I wasn't, I didn't have to pay a penalty or anything, so I'm fine on that part. And then I took my, what money I had from the Beta 2 from the partial wipe and went to um, a flew to Allen where I'm docked right now and I have some new equipment mounted on my ship so we'll take a look. Over here in my secondary weapon mount I have put on a mining laser and if we look down here I got rid of the um, I got rid of the basic discovery scanner and replaced it with a refinery. These two things together uh, cost me all of about 8,000 credits, so you can actually get into mining pretty quickly. I'm still in my Sidewinder. Um, I did go to the Elite Dangerous store and actually bought myself a paint job for the ship. And this is the Red Mojave paint job, what it looks like. So I just kind of wanted to take a really quick moment to show you those things. And we'll just um, exit out of here, exit out of here. And uh, let's pick a place to go mining. So there aren't any really, really great places around here to go mining. There's probably going to be a lot of too much traffic and stuff. But Styx is within range. And um, let me go to the galaxy map. I'm going to find out about Styx. It might be. It might be. I'm playing in the open world, which means I could be attacked by player pirates at any old time. But I'm not gonna really going to care. I'm going to take a look at the system view for Styx. Oh, it's a federation. An industrial federation space is a big asteroid belt by right by the sun and um yeah so let's go um let's plot our course for there and do some mining and launch so this thing lets me launch we will head out and uh here it comes So we're heading up and out. We are going to fly off to sticks and mine some stuff. I have watched a YouTube video a little bit on how to do this, so I'm not doing this completely blind. It's a pretty cool system that they have set up right now. Um, and I think as they get... So, so right now they're really balancing... Or they're, not, they're, they're adding all the major content. They have pretty much everything that you can do in the game right now. Um, but they don't have it all perfectly balanced as far as what's what's more profitable per time spent uh, on what what gear is good for certain things. Put my landing gear up here. Zip on out. <clears throat> okay, uh, Styx is plotted course. So they're still balancing all of these little uh, avenues for getting yourselves to your elite rating. You should be able to get there pretty much in many different ways. You should be able to explore, mine, do trading, do combat, any combination uh, of those. Bounty hunting, piracy, some of them are going to be harder than others. I think piracy is going to be the most difficult career for to um, keep griefing down to a minimum. But, um, you know, we're going to, of course, we're going to explore piracy at some point to find out how it's working in Beta 3. Take a little sip of my water here. And we are hyperspacing off the sticks. Boom. So this hyperspace is getting a little bit smoother and smoother in each build. Um, especially the transitions. Like, you get into the transition, it seems like you get into the transition in hyperspace, and then they do the stuff where they try and connect you to whatever. All right. We have come out of hyperspace, and we are now going to go find ourselves a nice mineral cluster. Lucky number five. Let's go to mineral cluster number five. Where is it? So now, um, asteroid belts are arranged in clusters, and each of these clusters is a little, you know, a little destination you can go to. And we'll just fly here really quick. Uh, and when we get there, you'll see what it looks like. There are going to be asteroids around. But, um, God, space. Space. Space is looking awesome. It's, it, they have a dark background. Um, and everything is just looking so sharp now. I don't know if you noticed the transition of how that sun goes boom into your face when you're coming up on it at the nav beacon. Um, oh, yeah, it's just getting really, really good. My throat's dry today. You get extra scratchy radio voice today. 
And we're just getting here the Styx A ring cluster five. Uh, I don't know if there's any other rings or whatever, but uh, yeah, we're just gonna zoom in. I can go a little faster now. Here we go. Boom. Okay, so here are the asteroids that are around. And um, basically, can I target them? Are they contacts? No. There's a hauler here. <clears throat> and. But all you need to do really is. Um, oh shit, I gotta get my weapon set up here. Okay. Um, fire groups. Put this on two. Four. And impact. Okay. We are going to need to dump a lot of power in those weapons. And I might put most of my power in weapons and shields just in case someone gets rowdy. And um, I haven't. I don't know what kind of. What kind of. Oop, no, no, stay up. <laughs> there we go. There we go. I don't know what kind of asteroid. Uh, like, what kind of asteroid look does what? Oh, wow. Wait, wait, I'm backing up. Okay. We are stopped. Let's take. Let's drill this asteroid. So there it goes. The old mining laser doing its thing. And there's bits of stuff flying off. Two bits of stuff flying off. As soon as I, uh, like, this pulse runs out of juice. There should be about four items to pick up, just floating out there. Oh, maybe five. And that is it. Okay, so now... Um, Galite and Bertrandite. Now we can target these little clusters up here. I'm going to target this one. And... Where's my button for the fuel Cargo scoop? There it is. Cargo scoop. What's this one do? That's my lights. I need to flip switch those around. All right. So now um, we're scooping cargo. So we got to fly up to this thing slowly. Keep it in the center. Bonk. Um, in that thing. And we have these fragments. Pick up this one. Resource unallocated. Okay, that means I need to do something over here. Um, modules. Status? Cargo. Here it is. So I have um, Galite and Bertrandite in here and I can vent it into space um, or I can assign them to the refinery. So these this module is here. I've got a refinery here. <clears throat> it's powered up. It's ready to go. Back over in cargo. I'm going to choose the Galite, I guess. And assign it to the refinery. So this tells me what percentage of a ton of uh, stuff that I have from this refinery. So every time I pick up one of these things... Uh, now that I've got this in the refinery, it will automatically refine all the stuff of the same material. Uh, I think. Do I need to confirm something? Empty. Okay. No, it's still telling me resources unallocated. Oh, 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 oh. All right. <clears throat> uh, next, what needs to happen is. Um, I need to vent my extra cargo, like the extra stuff that I don't care about. There we go. Now I can target this and go pick it up. Bingo. So it's a little bit, I'm, I'm trying to get used to this. Let's go through that routine again so we can figure it all out. I've mined the asteroid. I'm picking up a fragment. It is now in my cargo. I send the gallery to the refinery and vent the rest. And we're on to our next chunk. It's up here. And these do slowly move, so they kind of fly away from you. Get this lined up on my in my cargo hatch holder thingy. Impact. That's what it says. So I'm not gonna impact anything. I'm just flying up to this chunk. Uh, venting the rest. Okay, so I've got 19% of a piece of Galite. And slow down a little bit and go pick this guy up. Alright. Um, 
um, vent the rest. <clears throat> oh, so scratchy. Woo, that thing's right there. It's gonna land up. And then go pick it up. Ka chunk. And once again, so this refinery that I have only has one, um, one, um, like refinery module or whatever inside of it. Excuse me. Okay. So it only has one refinery bay inside of it, which means it can only refine one um, material at a time. And you can already see some of these rocks have two materials in them. So once again, we'll fire up the old mining laser. Release some ore. Let's wait for the laser to drain out its energy. So if you find a quiet, spa uh, quiet spot in space, <clears throat> I mean, I'm in the multiplayer server, and this can be done relatively, relatively safely, you know, without being harassed. That hauler is going to be no issue at all because if, if I remember correctly, haulers only have one gun point. So the only thing he has is a mining laser. Um, yeah, I left my cargo scoop open. So this rocket's moving. Whoa, keep it lined up. Bonk. Okay. Um, ah, wrong button. Vent the rest. And we'll go over here. <clears throat> and pick this guy up. It's easiest if you get coming in from behind these things. So we have 67% of a ton of Galite from our refining process here. It's a little bit of a complicated process, but I actually like how this process works. Um, I mean, it's just pretty cool. Okay, back to the rock I'm working. Uh, <clears throat> Come to a stop here. Just pound on this asteroid for a little bit to extract its juices. Deliciousness. Got another, um, Oh, he's shifting it. He's jumping out. This particular asteroid might be done. <clears throat> it didn't yield anything this time, so... Let's fly over here. It will, um... Here's a rock you can check out. As the material heats up, it will begin to glow as it gives off um, light, essentially. It was giving off light, and that's called black body radiation. That's how um, anything in space can cool off. So it doesn't have the molecular exchange being able to um, being able to trade, uh, trade heat. Uh, hot materials can't trade heat to a colder material like air or anything because there's none of that in space. So in order for something to cool off, when it's hot, it just has to get hot and glow, and it will eventually radiate that heat out into space um, with light. Oh, my throat is dry and scratchy. All right, let's hit this asteroid and see what it's got. <clears throat> Hopefully it's the same material. <laughs> it would suck if it wasn't galley. It looks like this is the same type of asteroid that I was drilling before. <clears throat> so... I would expect to be seeing the same type of materials. It's gonna move this microphone a little bit. And let's go get it. Deployed. Yeah, I need to change my controls to get those um, two buttons switch around. That cargo scoop is a little, um, a little unruly to get to. It 
Is that the same stuff? <clears throat> it is. So we have successfully refined one ton of gallite. And sure, let's throw a bertrandite in the refinery. Um, okay, we're just going to drill this one out again. <clears throat> look at that sun over there. So look, I mean, just look at this. The back of this asteroid is so dark because the, the surface of the sun is roiling and it's bright. And, uh, you know, in EVE Online, there's lots of mining and stuff. Like, that's the primary way that you bring in materials and income <clears throat> is from mining stuff. But I like how this game handles it better because it's m much more of an active process. You don't just um, click one button to fly to the asteroid field and then click another button to begin mining. Uh, and then when your cargo hold is full, click a third button to fly back. You actually have to go... And like, get it, manage your resources, <clears throat> um, you know, use the refinery tool. It's much more sim like, like much more of a simulation like game than, than just a um, RPG or whatever. So we are at 42% Bertrandite. Here's another ship coming in. Another sighty. And a third. This place is getting awfully crowded. The thing is, when you're mining, all your hard points are deployed. <clears throat> he doesn't have any shields. He got rid of his shields in favor of the refining um, thing. Back to what I was doing. Making this asteroid yield its sweet, sweet Bertrandite treasure. Uh, looks like I have drilled this asteroid empty of its resources. So, we'll go pick it up. There's a big asteroid in that direction I can check out. Uh, like in the direction that I'm aiming. Let's see if that one helps me out. Let's get that refining. Vent the rest. Oh, there's a rather large asteroid over here. I really can't target him. I am on the dark. There we go. Now I'm close enough. <clears throat> Put our cargo scoop out. So I imagine that any old buddy could scoop up that cargo and uh, claim it. That might be an interesting way, actually. So, like, you could work together with someone. Um, have someone, have one person ready to drill it, and another guy with a refinery on their ship, ready to farm it out. <clears throat> that would be a really cool co-op interaction uh, in multiplayer. Now it's got to go pick up my shit. Huh. Clanged into that one, didn't I? Okay, hit the brakes. Again, jeez. All right, refinery, vent the rest. Oh, shit. That was indite and something else? <clears throat> well, it's indite and bertrandite, so that's good. Yeah, it looks like I'm still picking up Bertrandite. But there is Indite in this particular rock, so that's interesting. I can fly a little faster. This one's moving away at a pretty good clip. Junk. Hopper is empty. So 
So, you know, <clears throat> relatively inexpensive. Whoa, Jesus! I'm totally bouncing off this asteroid. Get up. <clears throat> That's why I keep my shields on full, because I'm stupid and I don't know how to fly. Just totally ramming that asteroid. And it was spinning around and knocking me about and stuff. Okay, I'm going to go fly someplace that wants to buy this. Let's take a look at our galaxy map. Uh, we need a refinery, ideally. <clears throat> so Sticks is a Federation Industrial. Agricultural. Uh, navigation. I'll go with the common, uh, economical routes. Two tons, yep. <clears throat> I am looking for a refinery in the area. Because that's probably where I'm going to get the best price. Dahan, you're a refinery. So, I Buddhist to Asilus Primus, or I Buddhist to Aaron and to Dahan. I Buddhist. <clears throat> We're not mass locked. You have a cargo cargo scoop out. Cargo scoop rejected. Oh, hard points. Charging. So I could go probably into sticks and just sell his minerals there, um, but that's not how you maximize your trade. You want to go to places that take the raw materials and turn them into other, other stuff. Sticks is just a collection point. So I'm going to go ahead to fly out to Dahan. It's going to take me a few jumps to get there. He's coming out of hyperspace. Ready for the next hyperspace, which is Aranin. Um, over here. Frameshift online. Bingo. And in our next leg. Three, two, one. And we're on our final jump to Dahan. The game crashed briefly. I just restarted it <clears throat> on some other server. But, you know, that's beta. This is it. Dahan Gateway. And I bet Dahan is also a great place to do mining, actually. Because the refinery is so close. So we're just going to super cruise on into Dahan Gateway. It's 460 something light seconds away. <clears throat> I will um, catch you on the other side of Super Cruise. So there you have it. We'll see you in a bit. Okay, we're on uh, pretty much final approach to Dahan Gateway. There we go. Safe engage is ready. We're just going to drop out of Super Cruise here at Dahan Gateway. And then we're going to be ready to go sell our goods and see how we've done. Full power to engines, to Han Gateway is going to be within radio range or contact range any moment. Now, let's see if we can't uh, sell some of our stuff. We are going to go to the commodities market and see how our cargo is priced. Um... Well, Galite's looking at 2000 bucks a thing. It's uh, above the galactic average by a fair bit. So I'll sell one of those. And I'm going to go ahead and sell my Bertrandite anyway, just to get that done and off my, off my ship. <clears throat> uh, and uh, refuel everything I've got. And <clears throat> as I enter the hangar, Oop, long run. Yep, enter hanger. That's right. I'm going to say uh, that's it. going to be it for this episode. So until episode three, keep flying and stay shiny. Bye! Bye.